Hello and welcome to East Molesy First Eleven versus Normandy First Eleven at Graven Way uh, for another exciting edition of what the ECB likes to call timed cricket, but we all know is just a case of one team trying their best to avoid getting battered uh, and making everybody else's Saturday boring. We'll find out who that was today. Uh, teams on the screen, thanks to Big Smoke for sponsoring the Frog Box, so I've got something to do. East Morsey batting first, getting off to a solid start. Kinga and Nikos knocking boundaries away for fun. Grass is looking a little brown there at the uh, home ground, lads, if you want to get some water on that. That's a bit wide, and that's a bit four. Lovely drives here from the lads. Obviously, a good batting track today. Just smooth flowing cover drives. Ian Bell esque. And that was a bit more Bell End esque. But not to worry, plenty of batting to come. That was a massive over, by the way. Like 10 baller. What the hell was that about? So Nico's gone for 15, but he's taking the shine off the ball there. And coming in next is Mac, who is looking for his first ton for the club. But before we get anywhere near that, King has decided to join Nikos. Obviously, Altman's doing their job. Get out pretty quickly. Let the boys in the top middle order do the heavy lifting today. So next we'll see Cole, who's also looking for a score. Lovely drive there. From the young man. Away to the cover boundary. Back foot from Mac. Run him up. Give up on it. Realise it's a four. Some more fairly nondescript balling from the Normandy Frenchman um, a bit of indippers there but another one off the boundary uh, skirting the side screen as we speak no turn available uh, so that one flies off to mid wicket another lovely leg side shot from Colo there uh, that's classic Colo actually just bats in the air and watch it go that's got to be going all the way yeah thank you one pound lovely stuff Total starting to build now for the Moles, well into the 150 at this stage. Both batsmen nearing their half centuries, and here we go. Cole just paddle scooping over, backward square leg. And that's a boundary and a half century for Cole. Run rate over four, uh, ball in under par. Uh, here's another one. Uh, off that goes that is uh, you can't set a field to that um, it's just some real quality from the lads who've both been looking for, for big scores and have taken the chance for time cricket and uh, some relatively relaxed ball in to take the opportunity uh, that's 50 for Mac as well we had the back spectators loving it cracking day to be down at the club and Carlo steps on the gas looking to accelerate through now it's a lovely little Nick down to third. And Mac trying to chase him down, although Cole's opened a bit of a gap there. That is a big old hit. What was I on about? Opening a bit of a gap. That is massive. Six in the river. Next one. Oh, that is delicious and horrific for the uh, the old men to watch in equal measure. Um, both lads now nearing their sentries, looking real sharp here. Oh, swings away for another boundary. Three figures on the cards. Six runs there. Who's going to get there first? The answer It is the glorious Cole Campbell, who gets his ton up with a two. Beautiful celebration. Punch the air. Punch it again. Make sure it's dead. Lid off. Kiss the badge. Celebrate with the crowd. Cracking innings from Carlo. Um, doesn't matter that you get out then. It's time to do some balling soon enough. Not even managed to get 55 overs down. Cole all brings up his ton in 122 balls. Beautiful innings from the man. Um, Sam Burge coming out, maybe for a little bit of fun. But before that, Max sees off his first Saturday ton, I think, for the Moles. Um, and another amazing knock, 125 deliveries. Take off the lid, raise the bat, well battered you. Um, you've got to love to see it, even if you're a Normandy player I think you've got to enjoy these innings today from those two lads uh, striking the ball cleanly looking really good um, giving it up at 100 to make sure that we get a chance to have enough of us to try and ball Normandy out so there we go Mac and Carl both going for 100 
Sam and James, who's James Southgate? Jamie Southgate now in um, for the Moles, looking to just rock over the 300 mark and put Normandy under some serious pressure. Jamie, not messing around, slaps that straight over the fence. That's another beautiful shot. I mean, it's lovely when you can free the arms when you've had two lads knock a couple of tons and all you have to do is whack the old red off the leather. Try and get yourselves over the 300 mark. And there it is. Uh, inside 60 overs and the malls have brought up the 300. Arms are free. Try and kill Sam with a low drive. Get back for two. Yes, and that is the end, I think, of the malls in 300 on 14 for four. Uh, Normandy pretty toothless in there. Uh, activity today but a lot of uh, of long old orbs even that last one They're coming with a few wides up uh, extras batted well for 43 um, 20 wides and 15 buys solid work from the Normans Trevor's looking good up and down the pitch there uh, and so as we hit the innings break 314 for 4 for the Moles brilliant batting from Cole Matt particularly knocking up tons uh, and here we go in reply so, as always with time cricket, first thing you do, see if you can actually bat. Find out by losing wickets that it isn't your day. So that's five for Foster and a wicket for Redos, uh, caught by Frank. Uh, now you're looking at opening bat and number three and number four to decide whether or not you're going to play cricket or just stand around in the field and hope for the best. Uh, Westy nicking off the other opener. Uh, and now Molsey's starting to look at time cricket and think, I hope they're not those team who are going to show up today purely to stay here for as long as they can. <laughs> Lovely take there from Nikos. Inside edge, going down towards the leg side. Snaffles it off the ground, and that really did put Normandy in a pretty difficult position, 19 for three after seven overs. Um it's, it's not the application you want on a track where it's it's pretty easy to score your runs. Uh, and now we will slowly see the number of overs steadily overtake the score that the batsmen have got. As uh, Normandy pretty much bed in here for the long run, wanting to avoid wickets. Lovely slip gully cordon that the lads have got set up here. But very difficult at this level to get any joy out of you balling attack when the batting attack has retired for the day it's mostly here for a big wide open net but uh, 73 for 3 off to 25 we know what the uh, the order of the day is it's staying as long as possible and, and that's a shame with time cricket you know you'd hope that teams want to go out there and win but you never know for uh, uh, the uh, the Normandy lads that three key points that they might get out of something like this would be important for their season but in the action, some nice nice cricket being played. And I think at this stage I'd made it back to the club. So, uh, watching away, seeing whether there was uh, a big finish in the tail. King uh, rolling through the overs. As, uh, as, as things kind of tick along, 315 seeming a long, long way away. Even though there's some, uh, some decent cricket being played. Um... There's not really a lot to talk about here. Like, we all know what's happening. We all know it's going to take a while. We all know that beers in the sun are better than kind of hoping that you're going to win a game of cricket. Um, but here we go. Shadow's getting long and score's not getting so long. McKendry now on 76 off his 190. To be fair, he's going on at a decent rate, but Holland is... Taking his sweet old time about it. A bit of frustration cracking in for the Moles now. Starts to slip away from them the overall victory. Uh, 164 for three. And uh, having to take seven wickets in the last 20 or so overs that they've got here. Um, but if there's a team that could do it, it's definitely the Moles. Uh, obviously the best spin unit in all of uh, Surrey cricket. And, and maybe even county cricket up and down the country really. Uh, Johnny twirling his arm over that he's popped right up in the air let's have a look at it finally good lads uh, the breakthrough is that going to spur on a flurry of wickets that might see the Moles try and take a a time cricket victory and snatch out of the shot the, the, the jaws of a draw 
we'll find out. Calcott joining the pedestrian Holland at the crease. And so with 50, just over 50 overs going in the match, um, we'll do reply innings. There's probably another 15 overs uh, cricket available. My maths isn't so good that I remember. But here come the wickets. Tig straight into the action. Holland, who stuck around for a good old chunk of the day. Tired legs, not so tired arms, except for blocking. Plenty of men around back. This is what cricket you want to see. Boom, Tig, Paddy, two and two. Now, the tails are up for the moles. They think this is on. Um, Shadow's getting longer and longer. Uh, now we're really into the tail of the Normandy uh, first 11. We'll see if we can keep racking up those wickets. Another, I mean, that is a beautiful snaffle there on the ground. It's a real fist pumping. That is what you want. Finger raised, guy walking back to the shed, and seven down now. But we're running out of time. There's only three and a half overs left to get these last three wickets. And you know, there is some joy of, of seeing a good game of time cricket because when else do you get to have 11 guys this close to the bat and some real action and value to watch him? But it wasn't to be for the Moles. Uh, in the end, we got handshakes and uh, call of the day. Normally 205 for seven off 60 in their reply. Um, Really ne never wanting to, to chase down the target after the top three. Uh, didn't really get themselves in whatsoever. And so we finish with the Moles 314 with a winning draw, uh, taking on 13 points. And Normandy taking three glorious slow points back to the north coast of the continent. Thanks for watching.